Hey guys, my name is Sam Lubinsky, and today we're going to be learning how to do switch cork 540s on skis. So a switch cork 540 is where you approach the jump going switch or backwards, and you 180 onto your back and do somewhat of a backflip motion, rolling over and landing forward. Some prerequisites for this trick would be having very consistent switch cork fives on the tramp. You're going to want to be very comfortable with riding switch and heading jump switch. And you are going to want to be able to do switch spins. I'd recommend getting a switch 540 before you try this trick. The most important part of this trick is the set. You are going to want to pop basically as hard as you can. As you can see in this clip right here, you see me using my right leg mostly. So you can see that it is pushing as hard as I can off the takeoff. And just be patient with this trick, especially on the takeoff. You don't need to rush it. Obviously, you're going to be swinging your arms on the takeoff to get that momentum to get it around. But you don't need to do a lot of moving in your skis. Let your skis follow your upper body. If you don't pop, you're going to end up sliding off the takeoff, and that's a risk that you will catch your tips on the takeoff. On your first switch cork 5, it is likely that you will probably not pop correctly. So the best way to combat almost catching your tips on the takeoff is carving a little. So if you are doing a switch left cork 5, you're going to want to get on your right edges. So if you do slide off, your left edges aren't going to catch the snow. The best way to describe this trick is in two parts. The first part being the 180 roll onto your back with your skis facing downhill. And the second part being the rolling over to your feet. So to set the first part of the trick, you're going to want to swing your arms kind of like you're just setting a normal spin but more up towards the sky, like a upside-down rainbow. You really want to kind of follow the takeoff's trajectory with your arms. At the same time, you're going to want to be throwing your legs out and pushing your hips out and rolling onto your back. When you have your back facing the ground, this is when you're going to want to pull your knees up and probably grab safety for your first one. When your back is facing the ground and you have your safety grab and your skis are facing downhill, you are going to want to pull your head back. This is going to set the second part of the rotation. The pulling your head back is somewhat similar to like a flat three or a backflip. You basically just roll your head back and look for the landing. When your head is rolling, you will eventually see the landing. This is when you decide if you need to pull your knees up more to go faster, extend your knees to slow down the rotation. And this is when you're going to start extending your legs and getting ready for the landing. There are two points where you're going to see the landing in this trick. The first will be when you are on your back, you'll kind of see it through your legs. And then the second being when your head is back rolling, you'll eventually see it when you're flipping over. Once you get switch cork fives, you can take them to many different tricks, such as switch cork sevens and switch dub nines even. Keep in mind though that you should probably have switch cork fives really good before you move on to other tricks like the ones I just said. 
Also, it's really fun to play with grabs on this trick. Um, keep in mind, though, that different grabs will alter um, how fast you spin and the axes that you get on. And that is how you switch cork 5. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll consider doing more of these if you guys like them. So, thanks.